William the Conqueror's sons had resolved their long feud over Normandy, with King Henry wresting possession away from his brother. But the French King Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the French King. In the disputed countryside between Normandy and France, a smouldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. An English scout hastily rode to inform King Henry of England, who was still en route to defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, villagers and guards fled their English-held towns and retreated to the stronghold of Fleury. And it is here that we make our standstill, hold off the French, hold Fleury until King Henry, or Henry, sorry for that, we are not French, arrives. The English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. Alright, this one here we need to defend, as we can see, down here we are now being, dis oh, up here we are being now destroyed, also this village here probably is going to well get destroyed now in the process there is something here that's going to be destroyed and then we are uh, well in our main town and well actually i think we have a nice defendable position there they're all fleeing back now home where do we have our farmers first of all let's screen a lot of them and do we have some bushes close by of course our economy build up is going to be the most important one we got some sheep here for now that we can slaughter also we got a farm a market two archery ranges perfect let's actually group them right away because we're going to need them and a blacksmith we don't have that many resources and i think we are under a lot of time pressure right now because they're now marching of course to all of these villages there there's still lots of um, villages up here in the north let's bring them back home and the next village is down we still have our towers that I should be able to upgrade once I have a bit of stone there. Perfect. And we continue now building up something here. We have a mining camp that's going to serve the stone and the gold here at the same time. And I'm still really surprised at how much better the game looks from the technical beta test that I've played. It's so vastly different. Alright, more and more soldiers are coming in now. We have 280 food. We don't have a lot of food. I think they're coming in faster than I can actually prepare myself. Well, let's actually sacrifice these two villages there to save the rest. They're going for the stone because we're still going to need some stone there as well. And we're going to need lots and lots of archers. Wait a second. There is my archery range. Let's train a few archers there as well. I'm also going to station some of my soldiers in here, so they can fire then. There's my spearmen also coming in, perfect. Can I actually station my horses in there? Very good, because we do have a lot of horsemen. Right, there's the villagers coming in, let's go for the stone here. Flurry must stand at all costs. Let's hurry up here. Increases the village's gathering rate for stone or gold. We could also research that. We have a bit of uh, gold, so let's research that. Holy cow. That is an army. That is going to be very, very interesting. Stone, we are chopping it down now. Alright, and as we can see, my towers are already fighting. Or are already shooting. We don't even have stone for a wall, for proper wall at the moment, right? So there's the wall. I will probably need to build a second row here. So let's get rid of this house there. Because we're going to build then a stone wall here as a second line of defense. I guess that's going to work. My archers here are going to stay in the front line. More villagers are being trained. Uh, we need wood. Definitely. So down there we have some forests. Ah, over here we have some forests. Let's actually move them up there. Let's use one of my stonies here to build the lumberjack hut. 
All right, last village is down. It's up to us now. And we do have some stone now. I might go ahead and try to build me a stone wall here. Shouldn't be too expensive, right? <laughs> let's build this one for now. And let's actually continue then building it over there. And then here. And yeah, we can actually afford the full wall that is being built now. On the backside, I'm going to station then some of my troops. Oh, we can actually make something here. We can actually do something there. Perfect. More villages are coming out now. Chopping down the wood. And yes, well, after only a few seconds, the main army is arriving already. What about that? And how should I actually fight them off now, please? Anyone an idea? Let's build a gate here. So we can move our troops then through. But this is total meltdown. Right, I, ha I have to hold them off a bit until we finish that wall here. But I think we'll not even be able to build that wall to finish it. What is going on? How should I protect myself? <laughs> Where is my king? We don't have a king anymore. They're flooding through. No way I can actually do this here. Alright. And they totally destroyed us here in the process now. I guess something should happen anytime now. Other than that, this is absolutely not fightable. Or, well, actually, we cannot really win this one. So we were totally steamrolled right now. I just wonder what happens next, because this, of course, is not realistic. I guess something will happen. They're waiting here now for something to happen, I guess. The town center, meanwhile, is burning down. Can we repair it? Let's repair my town center there. All right, second try. They're attacking once more. This time, though, I do have some more stone towers, and I was forcing or was focusing on the wall directly on the big stone wall. So this smaller first attack should be fine. We do have some stone towers. We do have the wall where we, yeah, well, have the archers up there now. In all their glory. More archers are coming, so I'm training fully all archers now that I can get out there. And perhaps we should also be trying to get some, at least, uh, men at arms out there as well for some proper defense. There's the main bulk then coming soon. Um, this time, though, I think they're not attacking at full force. This time, I think they're attacking one by one. Or some smaller regiments, as we can see. We should be able to hold them off a bit better there. Right, I will probably need to build a second archer range. That's what we're going to do here. We're also continuing training more farmers for the food. And they're building rams now. <laughs> Get some more archers up there. They're still being attacked, as we can see, while they are building that now takes them some time and yes this time it's not the full force attacking so perhaps it was a bit a bit buggy out there okay now they're attacking with the ram i need to get my armies out there now a bit to also use them and especially to ah and king henry has arrived henry and his forces made their arrival at there they are some proper knights and the king himself get them up there as well for the first line of defense very good. I think those guys here we can still take out. This one's fleeing. We're not going to chase it too long there. Uh, let's try and kill it. Yeah. Okay. Head back home there. Hold off the French. Objective completed. I'm pretty sure they're coming back. Let's get my units back in. Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. Let's move some of my archers up there. Capture Greenville. What? Okay, my main goal is now to get all the way back up there again with the same units. I thought I needed to, you know, 
protect myself now in there. All right, so I guess we need to get out there. So this whole defense, it was proper though. It was it was able to fight us off or to fight uh, to protect us there. Um, I do need some more houses. And what I can see is it's getting night. And here we can push a few more fields now. My right, King Henry is alive and well. And well, I guess there's no one coming, so we have to attack. To oust the English from Normandy, began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. Alright, so the first smaller resistance here. This is by far, of course, not the main army. Let's just kill them off. And there we have then the first thing that we need to capture. And this is an open field. It's going to be interesting how many soldiers there are. Yeah, let's just destroy these tents there. And let's move on. Is there any treasure here? No treasure to be found. Nice move there, King. King Henry. There's the next one. What's a cooldown on the armor anyway? Because the armor bonus I would perhaps like to use a bit more often. Very good. And let's also destroy that battering ram there before it's doing any damage. Let's move into this village there. I think there is already some kind of economy up there again, yes. Of King Louis. Push the French out of Greenville. The funny name. There they are. And this time though I'm activating my armor boost. Because I want to lose as little or as few people as possible. Oh, from behind. Let's get my my meal units in there ASAP. That was a close one. He was kind of like surprising me from that from the flank now, and we have captured it. King Henry's men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. Very good. And there's lots of treasure to be had. Let's go for it. Of course, I'm not underestimating the enemy there. We are continuing to um, put a, a thriving economy there in the back as well. I do have now the full wood industry over there. And what we could also do by now is, yep, we could go for the like, next era. And I'm probably going to do that. Um, let's actually have a access and keep with all the technology. Let's have this keep up there. This is protecting our wall there further. And with that, we can level up and thus research more tech for us. And we do have a blacksmith. Let's also go ahead and research us some basic tech there for my soldiers. And King Louis is counter-attacking. Up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I think he's going to start this one now. Do we need to fall back? I'm going to fall back to my village. Okay, I think by counter-attack this one here is meant. So let's actually move in there and let's get a couple of my riders. Get them out there, away from the, the pikemen. Let's get them over there to the the archers. Let's also activate my armor boost. And we should be able to pick them off here one by one. Perfect. While we fight the main force down here. Ah, very good. And the archers are scattering around there already. I just don't hope that this one here is starting to move all of a sudden. That would be a bit bad for us. Okay, going into the next village now. There is a tower, once again, that we need to destroy. I hope it's not oh, not too many. They pushed the French out of uh, Crescentville. This one here is cold. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's move them back here and let's take some of my other ones here. Let's actually also activate, once again, my armor boost. For that, we should definitely have. Very good. That actually looks worse than it is. Perfect. And we are now moving in and captured this one. Now what's happening? Are they moving now at once? With the border towns recaptured, King Henry's claim to Normandy faced only one more obstacle. King Louis and his army. In the humble peasants' fields of Bremu, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. 
Now, it's going to be interesting. We got actually a monk here. Very good. He's helping us out there a bit. I have some more reinforcements coming in from behind. Okay, he's already starting to counterattack now with um, his primary horse. No, actually, it's not. It's just a minor fraction of it. And I was actually trying to build myself a wall here in order to protect my, my units then and, you know, station my archers on top of that. That's probably not going to work out here anymore. All right, they're splitting up there a bit. We might be able to pick them out one by one if it comes to that. My army's already a bit damaged there, unfortunately. Well, let's just see what we can do there. Very good. They're only coming in in a smaller portion there. My The monk is healing as much as possible, please. Alright, let's forget about these walls here. That's not going to happen. A bit distracting only. Let's also activate our armor boost. And I think these are just light riders, so they're not doing uh, so much damage there yet. And by the looks of it, it's looking fine. Right, that's fine, but that's of course still not the major force. Let's um, train a few more. I have more trains that I can train, more man-at-arms, and lots and lots of additional archers that I'm going to gather here then. Right, so they can actually already come up there as well. Hmm, I think we lost though, all the villagers in this, in this town here, so I cannot build now any kind of wall anymore. They've really slaughtered every one of them. Alrighty, and ready is the army. As we can see, quite a lot. It really, really tries to be total war, I think, with mass battles. And yes, with this mighty army, we're getting close now to King Louis' army. Now, what I would like to do here is I'm going to take some of my cavalry men there. I guess those are going to be fine um, because they have quite a lot of archers somewhere. There they are, right? And they might actually, you know, we might actually flank them afterwards. So let's just get these riders up there into the forest bit further away while the rest of my army is coming in oh yes now they're gathering so i guess the archers go to the back and those archers are going to be in for a real surprise i hope nice formation there with the monk as well and let's just try to get as close in as possible without attracting too many of them because i don't think they're going to attack all at once ah crap they're going to attack all at once no actually they're not perfect so let's have this one and my Cavalry is going to attack over there. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem, though. I'm going to activate my armor bonus. And then I'm trying to... Yeah, it's a problem because they're still not engaging here. And I would really like to take care of the archers there. Let's try to get in there. And disrupt the archers of the enemy. Perfect. Right. And the monk also a bit to the front there because he, of course, needs to heal. So that's really messy, though. So we have... I have no real overview right now. Um, there we still have a few units. The monk should still be healing there. He is, right? Is the monk healing anything? Defeats his army. We did that, I think. Yes, he's healing still. Perfect. And that's it, actually. We have defeated the army. Far from home, but rallied by their king, the English army forced a French surrender and put King Louis and his knights to flight. With the impromptu battle ending in resounding victory for the English, King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown. So far, so good. Let's move on.